Loosen up, man. Why are you so stiff? This is not how we dance in Africa. What's going on, y'all? Grind the motor back in this thing again, man. This time I'm coming back with a kind of sort of reaction breakdown video, man, to Fresh and Fit podcast. I believe the, uh, the thumbnail was talking about pull three girls easily in a day or something like that. And uh, yeah, man, I, I feel like the story is just a little extravagant. That's all, man. I, I'm sorry. I just wanted to kind of break it down and, you know, see what y'all thought as well. Um, disclaimer, man. I like I like this little dude right here, man. He seemed like a level-headed guy, man. I seemed like he wanted help for us, but hey, man, who knows? He might be out here trying to scan. You never know with some of these folks, man. Out of the two guys, man, I like him a little bit better. I like the other guy, too, but yeah, I like him a little bit better because he seems more level-headed. But yeah, man, um, goddamn. Before we get into the video, like, comment, subscribe. I would definitely prefer if you do all three. I appreciate that, man. If you do one, I appreciate that too. And if you want to share that thing, I really appreciate that, man. But yeah, um, yeah, let, let, uh, let, let's see what he's talking about, man. Is, is he talking real or, you know, what? Let, you know, let me know something. Hey, guys, it's your boy Fresh Prince CEO. And today we're talk about all my W's. Stay tuned for it. All right, guys, so you heard my L's, marrying a single mom, getting left mm. out in the cold, basically in the car, never came downstairs. Yeah. But today we're going to talk I about heard. I gotta watch W it. in terms of having three women in one day. Now, it sounds crazy, right? But I was kind of foreign to this idea of having multiple girls in one day because I felt, you know, do the right thing, do the good thing. Have one girl okay. I'm talking to, and that's it. But I met this guy at a pool party. He's an NBA player. I won't say his name for, for some reasons, but, you know. It's me talk to your guy, head by your guy, right? I'm at the bar ordering drinks for my friends, and he says, yo, bro, what's a good spot to go party at tonight? And I told him, look, bro, you can go down, down, downtown, you can go to Brickle, Winwood, doesn't really matter, but I'm going to... Uh All right, man, so he's in Miami, man. He won't say who the NBA player is for obvious reasons, man. Do you think he really had an NBA player just walking around like, hey, 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 little guy, where, where's everything at? Where, where should I go? And also, if it is real... Who do you think the NBA player is, man? Give me your give me your best guess. Comment that down, man. We know damn well it ain't no goddamn Kurt Bosch because goddamn Kurt Bosch be out here talking about some uh -uh, and all that kind of stuff. And I think he's a family man too, but I don't know, man. Just give me your give me your wild guess. It could be anybody from anywhere because you know anybody can go to Miami because he said Brickle and all that stuff. I've been in Miami a couple, two, three times, man. Me and my homeboys we stayed on uh, Collins. We stayed in the Airbnb and uh, Little Haiti. Little Haiti's trash, but I do like that gym they got over there. But yeah, man, it was a fun time. But uh, yeah, let's go and finish this video. On town, because it's a really good spot. And then he's like, yo, bro, are you on Instagram? I was like, perfect. Yeah, I am. So I gave him my Instagram. And lo and behold, he followed me. He said, wait, you know this chick? So he pulls up this, this girl's profile. Because you can see who's following someone that they just added from like the following list. I was like, yeah, I know her, bro. I used to like do her back in the day. He's like, damn, that's my shorty when I come in town. So basically... We were smashing the same chick. So he's like, yo, dude, you know what? I'm having a mansion party, like, uh, the next day. Come through. I got you. All this time, you know, we linked up. So that's all it took for him to be like, hey, man. He was like, man, we, we, we fucking the same beach. Well, why don't you come in, uh, we Eskimo, bro. Why don't you come to my mansion party and got down, man? Let's, uh, let's talk, man. Let's, let's network more, man. Like, like, that's all it took, man. I just don't, I just don't really, don't really believe that, man. But uh, yeah, man. If you look at Fresh Instagram, man, it looks like he—it looks like he looks like a high-value African dude with the monies and all that, man. So I don't know, man. Uh, he's probably—he's probably getting them based off of that. Who knows? The same night at the party spot I was going to, we connected, and funny enough, we dated the same girls, like a bunch of them. It was crazy, you know. Like I always say, me and Myron, a lot of these girls share the same high-value men, and they're on they're on the same circles, right? I'm at his magic party, right? There's like forty girls. I'm like five guys in my head i'm like yo real talk this is crazy like i've never been at a party where there's been different, this much girls compared to guys so i'm like yo how's this gonna work he says to me yo come through bro so he's like yo pick three that you want and i got you i was like three that i want this is like a buffet shoot i'll take it so i was like yo i like her her and her he, he goes tossing him calls him over and i kid you not i got a bedroom for you over here do your thing I'm like, what the... All right, all right. So let's break this down, man. He said three girls in a day. He said he getting three girls in a day. But let's think about that, that story right there. So he's at the mansion party. The dudes got 40 girls to five dudes. 
He's like, pick three girls. He picks out the three girls. The NBA player immediately comes up to him and like, you, 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 yeah, follow away. And then he takes him, he's like, hey, he said, go, go bust this little short African dude versus me. That sounds like, yeah, I'm the NBA player. I foot the bill. I pay for this. It doesn't sound like I just got my, I just got three girls off my own merit, off my own game. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, so that's, that's kind of a little misleading a little bit, man. Like, it's not off your own merit or your own game, man. In real life, man, do you know how much effort it would take to, to take down three girls in a day? Like, as a regular dude, because you have to think about it. Like, all right, one girl might not show up at the, at the right time. She might show up a little later. When she comes over, it's going to take a little longer than you expect it. And it's going to take your whole day. You ain't even going to be able to do nothing, nothing productive with your day. You're going to be out here waiting on girls like, where's she coming? I'm going to tear her ass up. But, yeah, man, I, yeah, I don't know about all that, man. Let me know what you think, man. Comment that down, man. Do you think, like, oh, yeah, he, he still busts three girls in a day no matter if they're, if they're workers or not. If, if, who cares if he's busting the chutes? But, yeah, let me know, man. I, I personally, like, you know, that's that's clear clear workers that he's busting. But let's go. Heck, is it that easy? So what happened was, like, I, I talked to them real quick. They were mad cool. And... Legit guys, I could have a threesome with them, but I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like I had no idea what was going on. I was like, yo, this is too much for me. But what happened was I did my thing with one of them, came back outside, hopped in the shower real quick, talked to the other one, went back in the room later on. So basically I had three girls in one night. It sounds crazy, guys, but there's a whole nother world outside of the regular dating circle where guys of high value can actually like set up certain things that regular guys can't. So translate that into like my own lifestyle, not from Instagram. I say, you know what? I can have three in one day. What can I do myself? Learn from deals on demand that you guys gonna uh, learn. I don't know, man. And my sister, she she threw in a comment, man. I, I, ain't, I ain't trying to knock your friends, but she was like, uh, she was like, if I'm a regular girl and I come to the NBA player's party and he's trying to bust me, and, and I want to bust the NBA player, but he's like, go bust fresh. I'm gonna be mad because I came for the NBA player. The NBA player to fresh, fresh is not. She said, fresh is not a good looking guy. And, hey, but, <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I don't know. Just, uh, yeah, that, 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 fur, that further increases the, you know, the worker story, man. Like I'm coming for the NBA player and you just are going to randomly just throw me to any old guy who looks like any old thing. Come on, man. Let's not even play with it. Let's go and finish this thing. It's about the course. We're going to re-release it soon. Uh, coming up maybe like next month. That whole setup there can be done for yourself. they Instagram. Or dating apps because for example all it is is a numbers game so it's all about scale so with instagram you could damn 100 chicks out of 100 let's say 10 hit you up boom you can space out how you want to do it but that's Common 10 chicks ready to meet you in person so I just if you're dating 100 girls in a day man you have no life uh the only, I don't know, the only reason, the only way that you could be able to DM 100 girls, I mean, I guess it is easier than walking up to 100 girls, but I mean, like, that's just, like, so much unnecessary work with that, man. You got to deal with, like, all these kind of rejections and everything. You gonna have, It's going to be a whole lot of trash within that 100, unless you can find 100 straight, straight drop 8s to 10s in that goddamn thing. I don't know about all of that, man, but, yeah, that's common sense. If you sitting around DMing 100 girls all day, you have no value, low value. I mean, he probably can do it because he got a little bit of money. Like I said, I seen on Instagram, man. He looked like he living pretty lavish. But yeah, man, as a as a regular guy or a guy who who has to work a little more, you're not gonna have time to DM a hundred girls, and and, a, and that's pretty common sense. Uh, it's a numbers game, man. You don't need no little special goddamn course to know like, oh yeah, I need to DM this amount of girls to get this amount of girls, man. Just goddamn be smart. Hey, this guys, you can take L's all your life. You can take W's, but the point here is that like, you can have whatever you want in this life. You made that choice. So for me, that I was a point where three a day was easily done through Instagram, and that's what I did. So like I said before, guys, I took my L's to take my W's. And you know what? So why didn't he explain? Okay, so he said he had three in a day through Instagram. Why didn't he just explain that story versus this outlandish NBA player story? I don't know, man. You should you should explain that one, man. I, I mean, I still like you, man, but I just don't I just don't really the story. He's getting more and more capital as we speak. That experience of taking those L's made me stronger to get my W's. So all I'm going to say is, guys, you're going to go through hardships with girls, life, whatever it may be, but don't let that hold okay. you back. Keep going and learn how to get what you want. All right? So, guys, 
Check us on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Fetch Effect Podcast, 6 p.m. EST. See you soon. Peace out. All right, man. So that's the video, man. That particular video, man, I don't like it. I normally like this stuff, man. I'm not going to act like, you know, like I got just straight up hate them. But yeah, man, that video right there, I just don't really agree with, man. What do you think about that, man? Who do you think the NBA player was? Loosen up, man. Why are you so stiff? This is not how we dance in Africa. Where did you get those sweatpants? That's a different style. I've never seen anyone wear sweatpants with a nice coat before. So different. How do you how do you do it? Oh, I've never heard of that. What about girls? I, I I want some girls. Can we get some girls, please, please? I can get some girls. Yes, those three over there. Yes, thank you. Yes. Oh, what? No. Uh. -uh. I pay five hundred dollars for each one. Hmm. Time, man. I don't want him. He look nasty. Playing. You ain't coming back next time. Man. Why is an, a, a NBA player walking up to a random short African dude like, hey man, where, where the girls at, man? Where the hoes at? Where, where they at? Like, uh, also, he, he's, he, that's that's not him off his own game in Mary getting a girl. That's an NBA player talking about some, hey, I paid you to come here. Come and, uh, come and bust a little, little guy here. Come and, come and do that. And then uh, I don't know, man. It's just and then you know he's, he's coming with you with the the common sense. A hundred girls, DM a hundred girls in a day, get ten out of that hundred. That's common sense, man. It's, it's obviously a numbers game, man, because it is tougher for dudes out here in these streets, man. You can't just got down DM everybody and got down be a hit. It ain't just, it ain't that way, man. But yeah, man. What do y'all think, man? Uh, with whoever's in the comments, man. Women, men, whoever, man. What's y'all's opinion on this story, man? You think it was a goddamn capathon? You think it was real? What you think about it, man? I personally think it was an immaculate Capathon, goddamn. I saw that in the comment one time, but hey, yeah, I think it was. Um, it was too extravagant, and uh, even and, and even the the stuff that he said still didn't even add any validity to the story. Like it, it wasn't like, oh yeah, you you got you got these girls, man, because because you got that cool African guy game. No, oh, you got these girls because the NBA player was like, hey man, you 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 go bust him. That ain't the same, man. But yeah, man. Uh, just basically, man, I guess the basically the the theme of this video, man, is don't be a duck, man. Like, like I, I know a, a couple of these dating coaches mean well and everything like that, man, but don't be a duck, man. You know damn well if I DM'd 100 girls in a day or over a, a period of time, man, at least a couple of them is going to bite, man. And you shouldn't be doing that anyway, man. Um, I don't think, I personally don't think that. When you get like a special course, it's gonna make like you. It's not gonna magically elevate you to be like, oh, uh, uh, I'm getting all the girls now just because you. I don't know. Like it doesn't matter, man. What you say, man. Like, like you're still not gonna get all the girls, even if there's like some special like sentence or something that they got, man. You're still not gonna get all the girls anyway, man. Because you're doing a lot of cold depression. You gotta got down. I don't know. Like I feel. I like AMS said, man. I personally think choosing signals wins over cold approaching. 99% of the time, man, I got down. I, yeah, that's my point. That's my, cause it's like, man, I'm just, I'm just shooting in the dark if I'm cold approaching, but got down. Shoes and signals, I know for sure, got down. I'm gonna get in there or close to it. But yeah, man, don't waste your time out here trying to got down, chase these girls, man. Get on your grind, do your job, get better at life. I mean, he did say that in the video, man. He said life is what you make it, and that was good on him. Shout out to them, man. I don't hate y'all. I just didn't like that video, man. I'm sorry. I thought it was a capathon, man. Don't mislead the boys. Don't mislead the men. I mean, you got a couple of ducks, man. You know, it's a bunch of impressionable young teenagers in these streets. Got down looking like, oh, you're fresh. Got three girls in a day. And they're, not, and they're not even like diving into the story and think about the story. Like, hey, all they hear is NBA player. They thinking like, oh, LeBron James got fresh. I was like, yeah, let's go to Brickle or something like that. Nah, bro. That's not what happened, man. Don't be a duck, my boy. Don't be a duck. Um, yeah, man. Everybody have a great day. Y'all go get it. I'll see y'all next time.